Okay guys, while me and Ozzy wait here for fuel, I'll just walk you through what we're about to do today. We're gonna go and um, change the standard sealed beam headlights that are available on the 60 series Land Cruiser for a set of replaceable H4 globe headlights and their carrier, which is the carrier is the reflector with the polycarbonate lens, which is a good upgrade from the glass lens. And um, also you can swap the globes out. So the ones we're putting in are 60, 55 watt, but you could always upgrade these to the Ultimate 100 or Ultimate 200 or, you know, your 90 to 100 watts or you pretty much put whatever standard off the shelf H4 globe is an upgrade for a standard car. You can now, this enables you to then put them into the car. So, I mean, it's still a yellow light and it's still not the world's greatest sort of light. You won't, you'll never get that from a seven inch round housing. You're never gonna get perfect light unless you go splurge like four or 500 bucks onto something like you know, your truck light or your JW speaker LED headlights. Those things, I've seen pictures and I've seen reviews of them. Those things are incredible. We're not doing that today. That might be a future upgrade, but these are cheap. I got them from super cheap on a trade discount for 107 bucks. Normally they're about 120. So they're a good, cheap, easy to do situation. And I've got both cameras on. In case you're wondering why you're staring at the back of a truck on the other half of your screen, I've got both cameras on so you can see that I'm not currently driving. So you can see the back end of a truck waiting at the servo because that's what's happening. I'm waiting at the servo to get fuel. So yeah, but that's a quick rundown of what we're about to do today in this video. This is Betsy. She's a 1983 60 series Land Cruiser. She's leaf sprung and she has barn doors and for the most part the headlights were pretty shocking. So she's powered by the old diesel 2H. In a future video we might look at upgrading and putting a turbo on her. But for today's purposes we'll be installing the semi sealed beam H4 Nava polycarbonate lensed headlights. So stay tuned and We'll walk you through how to do this. It's actually quite a simple procedure, and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so here we are. Episode 1, how to change headlights on a Land Cruiser. I've got a nice set of fancy, fancy aftermarket Nava headlights to slot straight into the 7-inch round housing. I've got Brad here helping me. Pulling them ones out yet, because we've got to count them out of turns so we get the angle right again. But yes, it should be just a simple, straight up swap. Bloody dog. So these are the new ones that I've got to go in. As you can see, yeah, we've got the shroud out. There's a big difference between that and that. Okay, now as you can see, that is the new headlight that's going in. The old one that's come out. Now one big difference is that this one's got the carrier on it that fits to the car. This one doesn't. So we're going to need to pull the carrier off this one, which is just the ring, and fit it to the new one before we can transfer them over. Yeah. Yep, as you can see, marked difference in the brightness of that one the dull crappiness of that one. So, yeah, it's very big change, which is great. You know, I should be able to see at night, which I'm quite stoked with. So, I'll just go to high beam, which is where you can really see the difference. In that one, compared to that one. As you can see, the one that is now in the passenger side is much brighter and it's much cleaner light. So it's still yellow, but that will be a globe change later down the line. So, yeah. So far, so good. And I've got the trusty helper dog right there who's helping a great deal. This is just to show everyone a bit, bit better. You've got to remove the shroud by removing the retaining screws around it. 
Your car might be different, but with the cruiser there's one, two in the bottom. Two isn't it, Brad? Yeah. And one up here in the top, just in there. That whole car here just swings away then, with with the head, with the tar, uh, with the indicator light attached as well. Oh yeah, there should be one up top there. So there should be four in total. So, but being a 32-year-old car, it's missing some. And then bang, Bob's your uncle. She just swings up and out of the way. Once you're up inside here, you got your other adjusting screws we told her in. Go to the carrier. Should have one either side of the headlight and a big spring. You got that? Yeah, I got him. Please use the wiring, I will be pulling it all out at some point and replacing it all. So you can see down in there, screw number two, coming out now. Good old yank. Once you get the spring out, bang, she's yours. Ugh. As you can see, the installation is basically just a reverse of the uninstallation. As you can see on the top of the screen, that's the kit we used. It works brilliantly. It seems to be a great kit. So I'll have to wait till tonight to see what it looks like. But for your reference, in the top right hand corner of your screen there should be a picture of the kit, provided all this worked correctly. I'm new to this video editing thing, and that's why my voice is probably sounding really terrible right now. But, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as you can see, it looks like a whole new truck with the whole new headlights. So, yes. Okay, as you can all see, that was a pretty simple, you know, sort of thing to do. So, it takes a bit of time out of your life. Um, there will be a part two to this. So I've still got to wait till tonight to actually see how they go at night and make sure the beam pattern is still, is still great. But as long as the beam pattern is good, then they already, like during the daytime already, we could see the beam pattern on the concrete there and it was better than what the other ones were putting out before. So, I'll call that a win of, of better lights so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed it and hopefully that that really helps you and when you go to upgrade your own lights that that'll that'll do you good but for now here's a good view for you look at that I personally think that looks pretty damn good okay so you see you for part two of this tonight when I check out the lights and actually so focus them and, and I'll t go to some dark deserted road and I'll play them out and let you see how they go at, at night. Because the performance of the old ones, I may as well strap the dolphin torch to the bonnet. So I'm not going to do a before video, but I'll definitely show you an after video. Okay?